Hello all. This is Michael from the Laser Pekka user group. Um, I've been a long time supporter of Laser Pekka, the L1 Pro, the Laser Pekka 2, and the Laser Pekka 3, which is a 1064 nanometer uh, pulse laser. Laser Pekka has sent me these three boxes, and I can only assume that it's the Laser Pekka 4. Uh, a dual source um, laser with a 10 watt diode output and a 2 watt 1064 nanometer IR laser just like this but twice as powerful they also sent me this t-shirt so I'm wearing it whilst I discover the laser pecker 4 with you so let's get to it all of these boxes came in one big box I will show you pictures of that later, but let's get to the main thing. Quite a lot of tape, which is good. And in it on the top we can find a few material examples, some cards, um, some wood and a dog tag. The top as well is a cord with um, a base plate, jig arms, a magnetic hood, and in the boxes are uh, this should be a cable. main arm to support the LP4 unit I can assume and what else is in here all packed in nice bit of hard foam and this is let's open it nice lock Ah, I seem to have a second bracket arm and another USB cable. I don't know if this is because I need to provide a second one to Yi. Um, because he got an early unit. Let's go into here. And this is pretty well in the bottom, but it's a pair of goggles. Let's open this up. There we go. Critical to wear. You must wear these always when operating the laser, when engraving. Let's see what else is in here. Let's make something else this side. So these are well packed because I find it really tough to get out. Nothing else in here. This is quite heavy. So let's see what is here. Okay, this is the power unit, power supply unit. In fact, it's quite nice and small. What else is in the box? So, a measuring ruler. Uh, 
another cable and an allen key and now you can see the main unit in here let's take out the stand arm very nice now this will come as a thank you um, a stretch goal because the laser packer 4 is on Kickstarter at the moment. And what else is here? This is the main unit. Here we go. Really quite nice. Nicely built. And I really like it. Like all the other units, the same colour, um, well built, and seemingly very good quality. Anything else in the box? Nothing there. Another bit of padding. Oh, yep, here we go. So, down at the bottom, don't forget to look at everything. Um, you've got main base plate with a hole in it but in that hole goes also this particular part which way around, that way around so essentially nice big plate then obviously if you need to do much larger things you can lift up the unit take this out place this on so you know the distance um, but obviously with a cone you will have that distance as well. So let's have a look at what we have here. We have the main unit, the plate, the main arm. I've got two of these but I think you'll only get one of these. Power supply unit, arms, the cover, some examples, some product samples, and some glasses. That looks very good. I'll do a, another video putting these all together for you. But now I'll put these aside and we'll open the other boxes. So we shall open the big box, the second big box, the medium sized box. This I expect should be the sliding plate, which then provides a 30 centimeter by I think 16 centimeter engraving area. So quite large um, compared to what standard laser packers do. So the 10 by 10, 10 by 10 with the extender is 10 by 200. And this is an oval, I think of nine centimeters by eight centimeters. Um, the laser packer four has a base, I think of, um, I can't remember, I think it's uh, 16 times um, 12, but I may be mistaken. Please look in the specifications and I'll link it down below or put it in the, in the post. So here we go. This is the extender arm as I thought. Or extender base plate. Comes with a cable there. Another well-built Piece, nothing else in the box. Uh, 
nothing else in here. Really good foam, so great protection. And in here, so again, well protected with some um, foam here. These are the two plates which come together to form the full bed. So these will be put on here and then this slides backwards and forwards. So now let's look in what's in the other box. Again, lots of screws and various parts. So this should be the rotary chuck. Well packed. Top layer here. An arm unit. And this should be an upright, I believe. Yep. Then the main unit itself. And ah, this will be a sliding plate that goes here with the upright, so you can have different sized items fully supported. You should be able to do rings with this as well and any other oddly shaped items. So that's the chuck. I'm looking forward to using this. And there we go. So I've done the full unboxing. I've discovered everything the same time as you. Thank you very much to Laser Pecker again. Uh, Laser Pecker 4 is on Kickstarter. Please come find it. Any questions also, please ask. But also, please do join the Facebook groups and ask lots of questions. Especially within the user groups, we are very open. We can uh, tell you pros and cons of all these units. Um, they are great for carrying around portability. Uh, the L1 Pro, ideal for just carrying around with you. So small, fits in a bag really easily. This run, all three of these run off a battery. Um, and likewise, these are nice and handheld. So the LP2, um, five watt output diode, hold it up with the cone or distancer. You can essentially engrave anywhere, any angle. Same thing with the uh, Laser Pecker 3, LP3, uh, handheld as well, and you can take it anywhere you like, engrave any angle. Now this doesn't have a cone, but what it does do is have um, this base here, which is similar to the Laser Pecker 4. Take it out, hold it up like that, and you can engrave away. So very versatile series of lasers. LP4 is certainly larger, but again, you can hand hold it. It cannot be run off a battery at this time. Um, hopefully some of us will be resourceful and helpful uh, in such that we can find ways of making it a lot more mobile. Um, but we will also let you know this in the Facebook groups. So join us there. Um, Search for Laser Pecker 
2 or laser pecker 3 or laser pecker 4 um, and you'll find us on there and please join us well that's a great discovery thank you and see you soon